compute velocity and acceleration for examples so let's say we have uh, a car and we know that this car is going to be traveling along a straight line path so we can model it as a particle okay so what we are given is let's say its initial position x equal to 0 and its final position let's say is given as 10 meters and we also know that its initial velocity was 0 so v0 is 0 so x0 is 0 and its velocity over here is uh, we'll call it let's say 10 meters per second all right and we want to know um, what is this acceleration so assuming that acceleration is uniform is constant then the question is what is the acceleration of this car and clearly it's accelerating because its velocity is increasing it's initially zero and then it's 10 meters per second right so since the acceleration is given as uniform or constant so acceleration is constant given and that we don't know so we can use one of the Galilee's equations so in this case we are trying to relate position so we are trying to relate position and velocity uh, and uh, acceleration right so we have, those are the three quantities we are trying to relate over here there's no time here so we have to use the suitable equation so our suitable equation is v square equal to v0 square plus 2a0 times the distance traveled right s minus s0 that's what we have so initial velocity is 0 so that's 0 uh, s0 is 0 so what we get is final velocity which is uh, which is 10 so this will be 100 equal to 2a0 which we don't know and s is 10 minus 0 so that's actually 10 so what do we get we get a0 equal to 100 divided by 20 so that's 5 meters per second squared that's the answer now keep in mind that this is only valid if the acceleration is given to you as uniform or uniform or constant okay then only we could apply this equation so here is another example let's say I'm given the same car I'm given the same car traveling along this straight line path and I'm going to model it as a uh, as a particle once again because this is a straight line or a rectilinear translation and what do I know and now in this case is that its initial velocity is let's say two meters per second okay and its final velocity is not known we want to find that out and it goes from t equal to 0 to t equal to let's say 5 seconds so in 5 seconds it has gone somewhere it's starting with some initial velocity of 2 meters per second to something that we don't know okay now the, let's say we are also given acceleration as uh, let's say I will call it 5 t meters per second square okay so 5 t the t is the time and 5 is a constant factor and the question is can we find this velocity so if you recall your Galileo's equation, one of the equation is v equal to v0 plus a0 times delta t, right? Where delta t is a, um, is a time elapsed, okay? And you might be tempted to use this equation because clearly you know initial velocity, you know, you don't know the final velocity, which is this quantity over here. This is known, you know, the time elapsed delta t is 5 minus 0, right? So delta t over here is final time minus initial time, so that's 5 minus 0 equal to 5 seconds and acceleration is given as 5t so you might be tempted to substitute 5t in here and t as 5 seconds to find it right now if you do that then you would be making a grave mistake because if you look at the acceleration this acceleration is actually not constant so you can see this is a dependent on on t so acceleration over here is actually a function of time which is 5t so at time t equal to 0 the acceleration is actually zero at time t equal to one second it is five meters per second square at time t equal to two this is 10 meters per second square at a time t equal to five seconds this is 25 meters per second square right so clearly the acceleration is changing as the time progresses so in this case this equation one of the Galileo's equation cannot be used you cannot use that if you use that equation then you'll be making a mistake so the question is how do we solve this problem if you cannot use the Galileo's equation well you can still solve this problem but you have to go back to your original formula for acceleration which is always valid that's dv over dt so acceleration is given to you as 5 times d so you'll have to do an integration here to solve this problem so I'll bring dt on this side and I'll integrate velocity initially is 2 meters per second it final velocity is unknown t is changing from 0 to 5 right so this will be v minus 2 equal to 5 t squared over 2 changing from 0 to 5 so that'll be 5 times 25 over 2 minus 0 so this will be 125 over 2 
So what is that quantity? That's 62.5 and V minus 2. So this will be V equal to 2 plus 62.5 meters per second. So that is equal to 64.5 meters per second. That's your answer. So the, so the car would go from 2 meters per second to 64.5 meters per second. So notice that we did not use Galileo's equation. We had to go back to our basic definition of acceleration and then compute the velocity from that. If by mistake you use Galileo's equation, you'll find your answer will be different. And of course, it would be wrong answer.